everyone what is up my name is nick welcome to my channel if you're new here welcome if you've been here before today we are building another house in the sims 4 and i'm so excited to share this one with you it is a family english cottage I'm calling it a cottage because it has a thatched roof and that's pretty much it other than that it's a very traditional family home a very uh, probably familiar floor plan to some of you. Anyways, do want to say before we get too far into this, please subscribe if you are not already. Really means a lot to me. Not too many of you are, and I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers so that I can start a new series here where I will be... Eh, actually, I'm gonna wait to announce it until I get to 900 subscribers. So if you can get me there, I will tell you what this next series is. But in the meantime, I'm continuing creating stories in The Sims 4, really building some lore behind it, and we're creating a world together. So are you ready to meet the family for this house? I hope you are. Starting off with <laughs> Georgia, what is her name? Georgia Bender, oh my goodness. She is a painter and really loves bowling. So she actually bought this house shortly after graduating college with some help from her parents. They wanted to start her off with a place of her own in downtown Finchwick in Henford on Badgley. So she decorated this house to her heart's content. And shortly after graduating at Brightchester University, she met her husband, Gregory. Gregory, they actually went to the same school, but they didn't know each other there. They connected after graduating, and he was just infatuated with how amazing Georgia was. So they fell in love really quickly. He moved in, didn't want to change anything about the house because he just loved how it was suited just to her taste and how much of her personality was reflected in the house and they had a daughter together so their daughter's name is Lily she looks just like mom tragically though Georgia passed away when Lily was an infant so Lily has grown up with Greg as her dad but never really getting to know her mom even though she carries a lot of the same traits and physical characteristics of her so that is the backstory behind the family of this home pretty deep a little tragic and i think it's really adding some nice character to my henford on badgley save so i don't know if you saw my last video if you haven't i would definitely recommend you go check it out because i built a house for the town's florist and i've already got some amazing suggestions from you on who else we can add to the town please 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 let me know who you would like to see in Hedford on Badgley. I want to fill this world up with stories that are unique to us that we've created together. If you want to build on a character's backstory, I would love that just to really enrich all the history of this town. And I can't wait to finish a neighborhood and finish this world to just have this whole storyline that you can pick up and play any single step of the way. I moved the family in the Benders and gave them skills and careers so my intention is when you actually download this build you're able to fully pick up exactly where we talk about from the videos. So that will be really exciting when it actually completes this is just the second family there will be so so many more to come and you won't want to miss that now i've talked through so much of this house already we have gone through the outside we're already decorating the inside we're on the kitchen and i wanted to incorporate some brighter colors to show how creative georgia was and how she worked really hard to make sure that her personality was represented in her house and it really is. And I think everyone uh, would love to have so much customization of their own home like she's been able to. It was super fun making it and thinking that like what would someone with George's personality traits create 
when it's free reign to do whatever they want in this small family house in downtown of a rural English countryside. So this dining room is super, super bright. She's also a big reader. I don't know if I mentioned that. Try to incorporate lots of bookcases throughout this house so that that idea was really clear. Greg is a writer. He used to be a programmer but hated it, so he switched his career and now he's a short story writer. So there's a desk upstairs in the guest room, which we'll get to. Other features about this house, let's see. Three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. I think I might be stretching it a little bit there. One full bathroom, one three quarter bathroom, one half bath. So two bathrooms total, if we're getting really specific then yeah there's a walk-in closet for both bedrooms and a guest room which is an office because it's pretty small this is the primary suite in the house that we're building right now very yellow really spacious i wanted to include the radiators i try to keep everything pretty realistic to normal houses now that we have the water heater i should start making it a priority to try and get that in the home that's not in this one but we have light switches we have radiators we have a washer and dryer and a little tucked away cubby we have built-ins there's lots of realistic factors about this house already but if there's things you can think that would improve the realism let me know i really 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 am enjoying this whole process of creating content and building a community of people who love listening to my stories in The Sims, watching me build houses for people in my imagination. It's a blast. So thank you so much for sticking along, uh, sticking around for the beginning of my journey here on YouTube. I really appreciate it. The house is 73000 Dollars you can find it. I think it's 74 actually. I need to update that uh, for my notes. You can download it in the description. There's plenty of links there for you. Uh, here are some screenshots. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Be nice to people. <laughs> see ya.